hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today we are going to show you uh, ban with Hono and uh, with Zod the three of the combination and with MongoDB so how can we create APIs on these uh, stacks actually but why ban that is the first scenario I usually do development on Node.js, Express and JoeUI so I used for this for validation, this for this Express Server, and this is the Node.js part. But I want to shift to Bun. Why I want to shift to Bun? There are couple of advantage of Bun, but the most two advantages that I think that is required by all of the developers and engineers around the globe is that Bun is faster than what we require and what is needed. And the second thing is that the bun uh, is out of the box with TypeScript support. And the third advantage is it can run with the Node.js packages system itself. So you do not have to move into some other kind of technology and do other kind of stuff. In fact, you can do whatever you are doing and improve the code with bun. So now Huno is like a web framework and it can be used anywhere in the TypeScript module. So I will go with Huno and my database is my uh, MongoDB server. So that's a simple database uh, nothing to go with this. But the main stack is over here and Zord is something that I'm going to use for my validation. This is obvious that you do api validations as well than the front end it's a mandatory thing for the production unit work so let's dive into the things but before i dive into the things i would like to go with the api first let me see what we have done okay into collections and this is the collection so other than one so once i started the server it gets started you can see this is my api for creating kind of just creating a simple stack of thing so it doesn't matter if i create a complex thing or a small thing the process is going to be the same whatever i create so if you can submit it gets created if you get nine it gets created and it gives return to the data whatever is getting created that is a mongodb part obviously so it's getting created now if i copy this id at this and go to the update and put this id on this one and put this update so it gets updated now if i go to the list I pull off and all the details are coming over here and single I can put any of the single I can pull this out getting this information and delete so paste as well on this one and you can get this information so this is a very simple CRUD operation using BAN, UNO and Zod. So let us dive into the code and before I go into the code, I just wanted to tell one thing that in the best practice section, do not make controllers with possible, when possible. So they are telling not to make controllers, but in a large scale project, if you do not make controllers, then it will be too much messy for you to handle that code, right? So that is why if you um, i created some of the controllers from my side and uh, i would like to show you that i have created the services and that can be used okay so they are telling not to create if possible but if you wanted to create then you have to create in this pattern actually but i have created a service and i have imported that service into the index.ts file so first get started with the index.ts file so we have imported everything we have 
imported the service connection to the MongoDB and API route. So I just wanted to control the routes from here. So if the controller is for the users, then the route can be controlled from here. Exactly. So you can also break this down as a controller system. You can also do this, but this is the minimum thing that we can at least do uh, to make things in a good aspect of development. All right. So you can see this app.route. And if you go to the main user section, user services, you can see the create user function is there. So the entire CRAD function is over here. So user CRAD function. And I have given the Z validation over there. And the validation is going through this. And if I'm not getting the data, I'm giving a return back. So if I wanted to see that, if I go to the create and does not give a name onto this and send a request, it will tell me what is missing, where it is missing actually. Okay. So this is, you can do much, much, much more complicated validation with Zord, both with JOI. JOI, I, I have done extensively validating things out. In the Zord, there's the same pattern, same things, and there's a lot to cover in the Zord, right, as well. So you can do that. You can get this information. Okay. Again, for the update, I'm just creating and standard procedure of creating a user model and doing the things that I will come to the database part as well. Okay. So once this, I have updated this thing, I have listed all the things I have put in this query section actually if you wanted to pass the page number and page size by the query string itself you can do pass it on this one as well if you need it that's a because i always write production level code so i always do this this kind of pagination need to be happen from the front end part so people try to request first page 20 queries right if you does not give me i would go uh, with the page number one and page size 10 right with 10 data and if you go to the single you can get the information from the single if you go destroy user you can destroy the user so this is a very simple crowd operation but it gives you a glance of what you can achieve with this kind of frameworks and what you can achieve with but and this is really fast they are telling fast, but I have used BAN on the server and this is a bit faster with Express and uh, Node.js on, on their part. So this is how you can do things out with BAN, Uno and Zord. I think if this video helps you to understand, please do subscribe to my channel and share this video and comments out what you need so i can give you the answers as well and i would be definitely sharing this information on the description as well and uh, the code as well on the description so thanks for watching this video if you do like my videos do subscribe to my channel thank you so much